Hi, I'm Sergeant Sharonda Grant with the Milwaukee Police Department. I'm the Public Information Officer and I also oversee the Office of Public Relations. When Alfonso Morales became Milwaukee's Police Chief in February of 2018, one of his goals for our law enforcement organization was to rebuild community trust. Recognizing that transparency facilitates increased trust between law enforcement officers and the community we serve, Chief Morales created what he has titled Community Briefings to provide information to the public regarding critical incidents that involve our agency. Community briefings are intended to provide you, our community, with relevant video footage, audio recordings, photographs, and other evidence regarding the incident based upon our understanding of an officer-involved shooting or other critical incident that involves members of our agency. Our goal is to release these briefings as soon as possible unless releasing such information would jeopardize the integrity of the investigation. When watching this video, please keep in mind that this investigation may be active and ongoing. Nonetheless, the Milwaukee Police Department wants to brief our community regarding this incident. The images and information you are about to see are disturbing. For privacy purposes, we have concealed the identity of the citizens captured in this video. When police members use force to arrest a subject or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, you may hear strong language used by those in this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I'm Tom Casper, Captain of the Homicide Division of the Milwaukee Police Department. In this community briefing, I'm going to provide you with a brief overview of a fatal officer-involved shooting that occurred during the evening hours of Saturday, February 29th, 2020 within Police District Number 5 at 340 West Reservoir Avenue. In this incident, Milwaukee police officers were dispatched to a subject with a gun complaint at a bar located at 340 West Reservoir Avenue. One caller provided a description of the suspect and stated he was armed with a black handgun. 911 operator 45, where is your emergency? Round 340 at uh, 340 North Reservoir Street. We need the police. Say the address one more time. 340 North Reservoir. Is it east or west? Um, I want to say West Reservoir. Okay. So it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Was okay. Um. Okay. What's going on? Um, uh, somebody is in there with a gun, jumping on a woman. Okay. In where? It's a, it's a domestic, it's inside the bar, it's a domestic uh, dispute. What's the name of the bar? Uh, Lounge 340 is the address. Okay. Okay. And what, can you describe him? Uh, average male, black male. Uh, oh, he's okay. wearing all black. About 40. 40? Okay. Can you tell about, so he's wearing all black? Yes, black coat, black shirt, black pants. It's a celebration here kind of tonight. Uh, like it looks like a Glock, a black gun. Okay. Okay. And you said how about how tall does he look? Uh, let me see. I'm coming to call myself, so he's about five eight. About five eight. Okay. Yes, and he jumped on a female. Okay. Okay. And he's here tonight. Then every the security broke it up, and he pulled out a gun. Okay, we say he jumped on a female. Do you mean hitting her? Yes, he beat her up. He body slammed her on the ground, and then the security broke it up. So he pulled out a gun. gun. Um, I'm not sure. The officers arrived at the scene from the north and parked their squads on Bell Phillips Avenue. The officers were in full uniform and were equipped with body-worn cameras. As the officers walked south near the front door of the bar, a male subject pointed a handgun at them. Both officers fired their duty weapons, and the suspect was struck multiple times. Despite life-saving efforts, the suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. Next to the suspect's body was his firearm, a black Taurus 9mm handgun. Both officers were equipped with body-worn cameras. The clip you are about to see is from one of the officers who discharged his service weapon. The clip begins as the officer exits his squad car and stops just after the shooting. When watching the video from the body-worn camera, you will notice there was no sound for the first 30 seconds. When a camera is activated, the system retrieves what the camera saw in the 30 seconds prior to it being activated. The time the sound begins in the video is the moment the officer activated the camera.
Fire shot, fire, he pointed gun at me. He's down. He's down. The investigation showed that the suspect and his wife were at a gathering at the bar. During the evening, the suspect asked to speak to his wife outside, and during the conversation, he pushed his wife to the ground and got on top of her. Another male intervened and got the suspect off. The wife went back into the bar and hid in the basement before being driven away by friends. It was then that the suspect looked for his wife in the bar and approached a parked car outside of the bar. The suspect broke one window in the vehicle and fired one shot. It was immediately after that when police arrived and confronted the suspect. The bar at 340 West Reservoir has surveillance cameras inside and outside of the business. The clips you are about to see are from the exterior cameras. The first clip shows the suspect walk up to a parked vehicle and with his pistol break the front passenger window and fire one shot. The second clip shows the suspect actions as the officers were approaching. The suspect, more than once, points a handgun at the officers. At the time of this incident, the suspect was prohibited from possessing a firearm due to multiple felony convictions in the state of Illinois. This incident is being investigated by the Milwaukee Area Investigative Team, and the investigation is being led by the Waukesha Police Department. The Milwaukee Police Department's Internal Affairs Division is also conducting an investigation, which is ongoing.